Hey, welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time. That's right. This is the show where I drive home from work in my truck and I talk to you like a DJ from back in the day. Hey, I'm Steve Brown. <laughs> yep, it's been a few days and guess what, baby? I'm back. I'm bad. I'm white and I'm sad. <laughs> I'm not sad. It just rhymed. I don't even know. Hey, it is Friday, August the 9th. 2019 and is a kickoff to an awesome weekend that I'm gonna have with Cindy Brown the queen of everything uh, and myself I'll be there with her that'll make it awesome as far as I'm concerned hey uh, little um, little thing about yesterday <laughs> uh, you notice we didn't get a video up yesterday well there's three reasons why uh, reason number one for some reason I was just beat I wouldn't like sad or anything. I was just so gold darn tired. Um, I don't know. My head was just like not screwed on straight. And uh, that led to two or B. A or B. What are we on? Two or B? We'll say to be or not to be. Boom. The jokes are coming already. Uh, B. Uh, because I was so gold darn tired, I had nothing to talk to you folks about. Nothing of substance. Nothing of interest. Uh... Yeah, I had nothing, people. I've got something today, though. Totally cool. Um, and so, 3C. I also left my camera at home. <laughs> yep, it was upstairs in the editing bay. And um, I realized when I was about, oh, 10 minutes away from the house that I forgot to go up and get it. And so, it didn't come to work with me. So, what I actually did is I, I put my iPhone up here and tried to do a little bit of uh, videoing. But because of A and B... Uh, it was it was it was bad. All right, so I'm like, there's no way. Even though I don't care what people think about these videos, I myself care, and I'm not gonna put this piece of crap out on the air. So, nothing from yesterday. If you're wondering, uh, that's just the way it goes. You know, I talk so much and so fast on these things that I find my mouth fills up with spit. Do you guys ever have that problem? Where your mouth just fills up with spit when you're talking? Does that happen to you? How many people? Let's do a survey. So six of you that happens to of the entire 34 watching right now. Well, all right, that's six out of 34. That's like, I don't know, 500%. So here's the deal, people. Um, let me get you caught up on yesterday. Oh, because something awesome happened yesterday. Yesterday was August 8th, and, and I will never forget the date of August 8th, 2019, and here's why. Uh, some time ago, our, our master, oh, I know, I know. My car's telling me to break. I know, I saw the guy. <laughs> Crap, I hope my boss isn't watching this right now. Um, I know it was the 8th because um, some time ago, they put August the 8th as the date they were going to pour the final slab on the job I'm running. And um, yesterday, boom, poured the entire final slab. Yada, 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 yada. Boom, 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 boom. Got uh, just a... Thank you from everybody concerned for hitting that date because it wasn't easy. Because as you've been watching, you notice people like the Cobra. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Cobra again in a second, by the way. Things have changed. I might have to change his nickname. But things like the Cobra and his posse and everything. One obstacle after another, baby. But I overcame them because I am a champion, my friend. Ba -ba -boom. <laughs> I'm changing my name, baby to something I don't know um, the Cobra let me get on that real quick if you guys remember um, it was uh, me versus the Cobra uh, a couple weeks ago and since that time um, that I gave the Cobra the smackdown bitch you know what I'm saying he has changed his spots I don't think he's a Cobra anymore he actually said that he uh, he doesn't spend a lot of time on our job because we're a contractor and knows what we're doing. Whoa! Really? <laughs> I'm running the show and we know what we're doing. It's amazing though. So, I, a matter of fact, just before I left work today, I saw the Cobra called the Cobra, it says on my phone. And I was like, oh crap. But I picked up the phone. Hey, how you doing, Cobra? <laughs> I didn't really call him that. How you doing? He's like, hey, Steve, how you doing? I'm like, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, hey, that email that you sent, is there a way that we can just X, Y, and Z on Monday and then we'll make a decision on it? I said, you know something, I'll, I'll do you one better. I'll X, Y, Z and I'll ABC as well. He's like, really? And I'm like, 
David, for you, I would do anything. And he laughed. He's like, all right, thank you, Steve. Have a great weekend. Boom. Made the Cobra happy. That's right. Cobra and me. Might, I might have to change his name to the Unicorn. <laughs> the Unicorn. Uh, no, the reason I think I'm a little more pumped up today than normal, uh, than I have been. Uh, hey, you got that major thing out of the way. That's awesome. Uh, we got walls going up everywhere and drywalls happening, trusses are happening, and oh, it's so exciting. Um, why am I excited? Oh, yeah. I did something different today. I decided I'm not going to spend like like make like 15 laps around the job today. Uh, I, I think I'm not getting enough work done at my desk. And because I'm I'm out there looking at the job so often, and that causes a degree of stress because I feel like I'm getting behind. I'm not doing the work I need to do. Blah blah blah. So instead, I did when I got to work today. I normally put my safety vest on, my hard hat on, and head out to the job and make a loop. It takes me about 30 minutes, uh, 40 minutes on on my first loop and then my middle loop because I look at everything, every nut and bolt. I'm staring at shit. <laughs> So today, instead, what I did is I uh, sat down at my desk and started working. I didn't even go down to the job. A little bit later, I came out um, from the trailer, had a smoke from my perch, looked down at the job, went back and sat down at my desk. Didn't go out to the job. I went and did exactly two job walks today. And, um, and when I wasn't doing the job walk, I wasn't wearing my vest or my hard hat. I just left them in the trailer because there was a point where you can't pass that point without your PPE, but ahead of that point, you can be naked, frankly, and it's you're not in violation of OSHA. You might be in a decency violation, especially depending on some of you fat people out there. Whoa, I don't mean fat people. That's not what I meant to say. I meant like construction workers with the big beer bellies. Shit, sorry if I offended somebody right now. <laughs> okay, I believe two things happen by not walking the job as often today and it's counterintuitive but I'm gonna share it with you before we hang up and that is this when I walk the job I see what got done and then 40 minutes later I walk the job and it looks like nothing more got done and then 40 minutes later I walk the job and I'm like how come nothing's getting done if I walk the job twice instead of like seven or eight times I see what looks like a bunch of work got done since the last time I was walking. And that's kind of awesome. It kind of pumps me up a little bit. And so then it occurred to me in thinking about all that, micromanaging is just stupid. How do you micromanage something? You can't. You just got to let things take their course, I think, is, is, is what I haven't been doing. I've been walking around going, they still haven't put that nail on that piece of wood. They still haven't put that nail on that piece of wood. You know, frankly, if they don't put that nail on that piece of wood for another three weeks, it ain't going to hurt the job as long as it gets in the piece of wood. Um, and so I realized by not micromanaging it, just letting the subs do what they need to do and then f solving real problems, um, you know, working through those when they come up, I was much calmer today, much less frustrated with the freaking subs I got. Seriously. It was amazing. And so I have now learned that micromanaging stresses out the people you're managing. First of all, they're like, God, get off my back. Get up off my back. Let me get my job done. Then you can come criticize me. And not only that, that, then I become stressed because it seems like nothing's moving. You know, a watched pot never boils. It's that kind of thing. I really think it is. And I think I discovered it nah, today. And I think I'm so excited right now because by the time uh, I go back to work on Monday, all of the trusses for the first floor. The trusses are what are support the roof of the first floor and the floor of the second floor. Those are the trusses. And we can't go vertical to the second deck without them. They're all going to be installed um, this weekend. So I'm going to just walk the job at some point on Monday and see oh, a building built. Boom! Uh, anyway, I'm going to play with the Model Railroad this weekend. Uh, tonight, actually. And then tomorrow, we're going to go to the fair with the queen of everything. We're going to let our hair down. Well, some of us are going to let our hair down. <laughs> I'll let one of mine down because that's all I got. I can't afford more than one. And then uh, Sunday, going to go to Pomona, California for the great train show. If you are local to me, 
and you want to go to the great train show tomorrow at the Pomona Fairgrounds, it's uh, I will be there from 10 to noon. It opens at 10. Uh, look it up on the internet, people. That's what I did. And me and the first lady are going to be there. We'll have our It's My Railroad shirts on. I'm going to buy me a bunch of freight cars and press some palms, maybe sign some autographs. And, you know, my wife will probably shank a couple of groupies. That happens. I got people throwing themselves at me. Take me, take me. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. There you go. I hope you have as awesome a weekend as I have planned. I hope you don't micromanage a damn thing. Uh, have a few beers for me. And then uh, I will see you again Monday afternoon on my way home from work. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I had a fun a ton being with you. Until next time, my name is Steve Brown, and I'll talk to you later.